Bonjour, French ladies. In this video, 10 shocking things elegant women never do at a restaurant. Have you ever been shocked at the behavior some people exhibit at a restaurant? Or have you inadvertently shocked other people by your own behavior? <gasps> there are rules of etiquette for everything. There are so many and some rather obscure that it may be difficult to know them all. It is especially important if you are an elegant woman. Why? Because it shows you have good manners, you are polite and respectful in a social context. In French, we call this le savoir-vivre. Elegance is more what you are as a person than the clothes that you wear. Right, let's get straight in. First, elegant women never arrive late. Instead, they arrive on time or preferably a little early for their reservation. Assuming you booked and are not arriving sans réservation at the restaurant, there is no such thing as arriving fashionably late, even if you are attending a party in honor of another guest. Your table was reserved by the management at a specific time in order to help them organize the whole kitchen and the whole restaurant, not just for you, my dear. Good food, of course, needs to be prepared in a timely fashion. And by arriving late, you may disrupt everything in the restaurant and, of course, in the kitchen, resulting in extra pressure on the kitchen, which may result in food being ill-prepared. So this is why elegant women never arrive late. Next, elegant women never arrive shabbily dressed. Most quality restaurants have a dress code, so it is up to you to find out about that code and to stick to it. Restaurants that have a dress code do so for respect of all patrons, not just you. So make an effort on your appearance, as you would do via Elegant anyway, so that you don't embarrass other diners or even worse, put them off their food. If your outfit may be deemed non appetissant, not appetizing, don't wear it. Elegant women never arrive shabbily dressed. Next, elegant women never arrive reeking of perfume. Eating is, of course, as much an olfactory experience as a gustatory one. So, of course, Diners do not want to smell your perfume, however beautiful it may be on the outside, but they'd rather smell their food. So elegant women go easy on the perfume and never overspray. Next, elegant women never go to a restaurant without knowing in advance the type of restaurant and food that they serve. More and more people have dietary requirements via allergies or through personal choice. So a discreet call in advance is the best way to check with the restaurateur if your allergy or other requirements will be catered for on the night. This is so much better than making demands of the kitchen on the night and expecting them to change the menu pairings at the drop of a hat. So here you are, elegant women never go to a restaurant without knowing in advance the type of fare they serve. Next, elegant women never get rude or unpleasant with the waiting staff. Please remember that waiters and waitresses are there to ensure you have an enjoyable experience. And elegant women will, of course, always treat people respectfully. And if accidents happen, well, it is just that, accidents. For example, if you are going to an Italian restaurant, maybe it's not the best time to wear your cream Chanel jacket because you may get some tomato sauce spill. Of course, restaurants carry dry cleaning insurance, but having some discretion in the way you deal with this accident is the best way to handle it. So remember, elegant women never get rude and pleasant to the waiting staff. Do you have other elegant tips to do or not do at the restaurant? Let us know below. Next, elegant women never complain about the menu. I have heard people complain loudly in French restaurant, that their French menu is not translated. Yes, there may be times where you will not understand the menu, it depends on where you are in the world. But the best way to deal with this is to ask the waiting staff discreetly. And of course, they will be more than happy to help you and to make you understand the menu and what's on offer. A friend of mine years ago ordered fish in a French restaurant and the fish arrived with a head on. My friend was horrified. Ah, my fish got eyes! 
But of course, this is how fish arrive in France. They arrive whole, including the head. So in this case, instead of making a scene, the best thing to do is to call the waiter to you and ask if they can remove the offending head. So elegant women never get surprised by the menu. Next, elegant women never start eating before everybody is served. Good restaurants, of course, always time the dishes to arrive more or less at the same time for everybody. One top end restaurant I attended once had all the dishes covered. From a discreet nod from the maître d'eux, all the covers were lifted to reveal a beautiful dish with delicious aromas. An experience that has stays with me to this day. But if there is any delay, it is more elegant for the waiting party to ask the others to start their dish before it gets cold. So elegant women never start eating before everybody else unless invited to do so. Next, elegant women are never stunned by their cutlery. I think it is in good standing and not only for elegance to know how to use the basic cutlery, such as a knife and a fork. Many people no longer know how to use a knife and a fork. It could be due to no longer eating at a table at home or eating finger foods. The proper use of cutlery in close proximity to other diners is vital so that you don't elbow one in the eye or knock over the glass. So elegant women never get surprised by the cutlery. And you remember that funny scene in Pretty Women when Julia Roberts was trying to hold a snail and the snail flew off and the waiter caught it? That's what I mean. Next, elegant women never help themselves to the food of their fellow diners. This one is the bugbear of mine. I do not like to see anybody touching my food and I never touch their food either. And neither should you. Here you are. An elegant women never help themselves to their fellow diner's food. So what do you think so far? Do you have funny stories that you have witnessed at restaurant or maybe even happened to you? Let us know in the comments below. Next, elegant women never eat with their mouth open. And I think this one says it all. I think this one is one of the most basic table manners that anyone should be apply. Nobody at the table or around you should be able to see the food you have in your mouth. It is not elegant nor appetizing to have the food in your mouth on display, whether you are eating or talking. So if somebody asks you a question while you are eating, the best thing to do is to cover your mouth with your hand, continue chewing and swallow when it's safe to do so, and keep your hand in front of your mouth while answering the question. Then regain your composure and continue. So elegant women never eat with their mouth open. If you enjoyed this video, you love this one. 